AITA for wanting a divorce after discovering my husband set me up? I know what you might be thinking, what kind of story is this? We are Gen Zers. My husband, a 52-year-old man, and I, a 46-year-old woman, have been together for a long time. For this post, let's call him Jim, and the person involved, Tess. For the past five years, I have made it a goal to build a great group of friends. I spent decades working, raising kids, and being married. I forgot about friendship. Knowing that women often outlive men, I really needed to find my tribe. In this process, I decided to try new hobbies. Glamping seemed interesting, so I wanted to give it a try. It looked like a great getaway after the very recent passing of my mom. My husband, Jim, was so focused on helping me during the time my mom was in hospice and when she passed away. He was by my side and holding my hand. To distract myself from the reality of my mom's final moments, I became very interested in glamping. I told Jim, and being who he is, he found a Facebook group for this hobby. As I was caring for my mom, he would tell me about how welcoming the people in the group were. One day, a woman contacted me, saying she got my information from my husband and introduced herself as Tess. We had a lot in common, and she, too, was looking to add to her friend group. She and I talked about camping stuff and travel. She asked if I wanted to grab wine and dinner, and I was thrilled. Jim decided to come along because the lady was a stranger. We had a great dinner, but there was an odd vibe. I had to use the restroom, and she nearly jumped from her seat to come with me. I thought she might have assumed it would be awkward to talk to my husband alone, so I shrugged it off. Things got strange when she invited me out the following week to a bathhouse. She kept emphasizing that we would be nude. I felt uneasy after she mentioned this for the fifth time, so I asked for the link to the location and made a joke about bringing my own bathrobe if I had to. The Sunday before the Saturday we were supposed to go to the bathhouse, my husband and I were driving to a local rooftop to see a band we love, and a text from Tess popped up on the dashboard screen. All I saw was her name, and I asked why she would be texting him. I thought they only spoke in the camping group. He said it was probably about camping stuff, but when I picked up his phone, he nearly caused an accident because he freaked out so badly. Apparently, he had messaged her about an inappropriate video she was supposed to make of her with someone else, but she was too involved in the situation to record. I texted her and asked why she would be sending my husband such a video, and she told me everything with screenshots to back it up. He had started messaging her about camping, and the conversation shifted to my personal life. After she informed him she was interested in women, the discussions became inappropriate, and they planned for her to try to approach me in that way. When that didn't work, the bathhouse was supposed to be another attempt. If that stranger had touched me inappropriately, I would have been outraged. He set me up to be disrespected by a stranger. And Tess, a 50-year-old woman, agreed to this without my consent. Also, this is what he was planning during the time my mother was dying. Now he is acting like he was lost or had accidentally set me up with a stranger to be mistreated. He was stunned when I asked him to leave and that he would not be able to stay at any of our three homes. No sooner did I say it, and BAM, his job, fired him. Now our eight adult kids are confused as to why I am still talking to him and allowing him to stay in the family house. The other homes are being rented out. I do not want him here with me, trying to win me over from our daughter's bedroom, now his room upstairs in my house. AITA for wanting him out and not wanting to wait until he finds work? AITA to feel like he would have let me be completely disrespected to fulfill a fantasy he had? I think he misunderstood my orientation. I'm furious and trying to stay calm. That woman could have set me up for anything. I could have been put in a dangerous situation. I'm so angry. Update 1. I bought the houses with my own money. I have always earned more than Jim. He is bad with money, spending it all on fun and sports memorabilia. I spend, but I also save and have been focused on building as much wealth as possible before I retire. While he was living it up, I bought homes. We are married, so although he was not a joint purchaser, they listed him on one home as such. The others I bought outright, and he was listed the same way as well. I do have a notarized document from him done years ago relinquishing all rights to the properties as he had no hand in funding their purchase. 